Isa pang banta sa kaligtasan ng mga freshwater turtles ang mataas na bilang ng road accident sa Thailand. Naging tirahan kasi ng mga tao ang karamihan sa natural nilang tahanan. Kaya naman madalas silang napapadpad sa mga kalye. At bago pa kami makarating sa pagririlisan ng mga pagong, Okay, let's go. Yeah, we are, we are, we are picking uh, one um, accident turtle. Oh, okay. Way, because okay. Uh, they call on Facebook and nobody, nobody Rescue. is helping him. So, uh, we're gonna pick it up. Okay, and, good. Uh, Kailangan muna naming rumuspundi sa isang pagong na nasa peligro daw ang buhay. Isang yellow-headed temple turtle ang nasa gasaan malapit sa isang gasolinahan. Oh, ito, sa gas station, merong rinescue. So, crack yung likod niya. This one, uh, they gave it to you already like this? They, they did this one, they, the rescue? Yes, the rescue oh. is then in a total event. Uh, last night. So, Dr. Nantarika, this one looks like a road traffic accident. Yes, it is. So, ganito yung pag-rescue nila, no? They put it in a wood and then wrap it with gauze. And uh, it looks really bad, huh? Sa tindi ng tama, nabasag ang mismong carapace o bao ng pagong at halos lumabas na rin ang laman nito. So, looks bad, Dr. Nantarika. Yes, I think it's a... Uh... This is already two, two days. Two days already, but uh, he's still alive. Grabe, oh. Kita mo, dalawang araw na raw ito. So, this is like a, a stretcher for uh, turtles, but uh, this time they're using the gauze to pack the shell because it's really damaged. Because if we, we don't put the, 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 the uh, gauze back down here, uh, on the on the back, on the downside also broken. So if it's broken, then he's gonna be in really bad pain. Yeah, it's so. not stable. So this is a case of a road traffic accident. We have so many of these cases in uh, in the hospital. You saw because there there is no uh, border between the mm -hmm. the natural habitat and the road. Right. That's why they cross. Right. And the thing is that the, nobody wants to pay for this. And it costs so much to, to repair to, and uh, to, to treat one of these. It will take about a year. It will take about at least a year for this to, to be able to be I don't know if this one will survive or not. Dahil sa malasakit ng staff ng gas station, may pag-asa pang maligtas ang pagong. Ito natin ano, dito, hindi nila kinakain yung pagong, uh, kundi tumatawag sila. Pero hindi daw nila malaman kung sino tutulong sa kanila dahil napakamahal daw magpagamot ng pagong. Pero si Dr. Nantarika sa si Fon, meron silang organization that does rescue of turtles. Ang carapace o bao ang pinakamatibay na proteksyon ng isang pagong. Kung hindi mabibigyan ng lunas, pwede niyang ikamatay ang pagkasira nito. Now we are, we are going to take the turtle back to the hospital. Uh, but right now we have to do the first mission first by releasing the one that we already rescued and treat and be able to go to the nature. Pero hindi lahat ang pagong handa nang bumalik sa wild. Tulad na lang ng isang ito. Very light. Sobrang hina oh. Dito may paa niya halos. It's just dangling that, that shows how weak it is. Hmm. So, so, dalawa tatlo, apat. Pang lima yung naipit. Makalipas ang mahigit limang buwan, matagumpay ring napagaling ni na Dr. Nantarika ang freshwater turtle na nasagasaan. Nabalik ito sa wild kasama ang iba pang pagong na na-rescue at na-rehabilitate ng kanilang grupo. Mula sa pagre-release sa wild hanggang sa pag-rescue sa isang pagong na nasagasaan, nakita ko kung gaano kahalaga para sa grupo ni na Dr. Nantarika ang maisalba ang bawat buhay ilang. Napatunayan ko rin na ang pagliligtas at pagprotekta sa mga hayop 
nagiging mas matagumpay kapag mismo mga residente ang nagtutulong-tulong.